Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Sorry if uh, the last few seconds got cut off from the last video. Uh, I apparently started my timer a couple seconds late and didn't uh, keep track of that. And I cut it right down to the wire, which I shouldn't have done. So I'm sorry to you. Maybe I didn't treat you. Ah, oh, sorry. I just thought I'd sing You Are Always On My Mind to make it up to you. Then I realized what I was doing and quickly stopped. Um, I cannot sing very well. At all. It's a pretty big source of insecurity. Maybe you could help me work it through. Maybe you could succeed at singing yourself and I could vicariously fulfill my dream. Axe reaches level 2. That's fantastic news. My day is complete. Alright, now we're going to get to the upper land. It's huge! Just slide into the cannon. Alright, slide on in there. Did you guys just have a weird flash happen? I did on my end. Now, see this forest? I'm going to fall right near the middle of it. At least there's that river as a landmark and source of life. Kill! Kill them! Um, I hit my head again when we landed. Great. Listen, he's laughing. No, crying. Idiot. Peddlers have taken over their village. Well, that just can't be good. Well. I really like the music here, and I really like the area. And I really like fighting silk tails. Oh, looks like I picked a pretty bad moment. What can I do for you? I would like to buy. Uh, there's new helmets. I guess I'll buy two of those. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I seem to recall... Oh, maybe there's not new armor for a little bit. Alright, let's equip that. No, I'm not going to off-screen it. Including me fumbling through this system of menus. I feel like with a little bit more polish, the menu system would have been really good. The ring menus are, of course, visually cool. As a menu, they can be confusing. They are confusing for my brain. Alright. The level 3 spear, it's called the Sprite Spear. It's not just for the sprite, but it's called that. Uh, is awesome because it balloons enemies. I don't really know how it does it. Uh, the physics elude me. But uh, it does, and that's what I care about. There's also, you get the Moogle Claws, which is the level 3 gloves right around here, and it puts enemies to sleep. Yeah, these guys can be hard to hit. Um... And putting enemies to sleep is also awesome. That was annoying. I had a level 3 blast ready to go and I got hit right at the critical moment. That means I am going to switch to the sword. Alright, now in this area it's a bit of a... It's one of those pseudo gameplay puzzles. You have to walk the seasons in the order that they occur. So we just went from, we started off in winter, so we went to spring, which is my favorite season. It's not too hot out, everything's living again. It's pink in this game. The enemies are the most fun to fight, although I do like my water thugs. Alright, mash up these guys a little bit. Yes, sorry, you have to walk the seasons in the order they occur, starting with, I believe, spring. Basically, just walk in a circle counterclockwise, and don't deviate. Or is that later? We have to find the Moogle village first. That was a sneak peek for all of you people who were wondering what's next. 
These are pebblers. They're actually a pretty tough fight. I refuse to use magic, though. I seem to have more success hitting them when I come straight on from the front. Surprise! Ugh. One's down, so that greatly simplifies things. Some enemies are just naturally hard to hit. They have a good evade stat. Of course, some of them can be whacked. Alright, we exit here. Yay, the Moogles can come back to the village now! Huzzah! I could talk to Watts right now, but I'm going to talk to the Moogles instead. Koopy Kapapo! What's wrong? Yeah, I remember everything! That was easy. Walk the seasons from spring to winter, spring again, and we can enter. But enter where? Answer. The Temple of Death. Okay, Axe's Orb number two. See, maybe I should have ignored that Axe's Orb and... Oh, well, I don't know. If there's an optional boss you can fight... I don't know. I should really look into that little hiccup I don't really understand regarding the uh, leveling up the Axe all the way. Because I am still trying to figure that out in case you can't tell what the heck I'm talking about. Just smell this fresh air. Yeah, Watts goes with you pretty much every town you go to for the rest of the game, so that's nice of him. I would think it would be quite odd for a dwarf to get out in the open. Like a hobbit, leaving his hobbit hole. Alright, so we've only got a couple of level 2 weapons left. The abysmal pole dart and others. Let's get the sprite on a real weapon then. Sprite, you've been promoted to whip. It's similar but stronger. And I'm going to cure water everybody, save, and then we'll move on to walk in those seasons. Spring to winter, etc. Actually, I might make one quick look at how my weapon and magic skills are coming along. Mainly weapon. The sprite has not used a weapon but the boomerang in this game. That's how I feel about the sprite. Undyne's about to level up for the sprite, that's really good news. Level 2 is a fair bit stronger than level 1. Not double, but, you know, 50% maybe. Girl's getting pretty close too. About 4 more casts or so. S sword's almost close. I've really only diversified my weapons on the boy, that's a bad thing. I normally like to have them all have at least level 2 on everything. You know, by the end of the game. Of course, that's not really something you have to worry about too much. You'd be better off probably picking just maybe maybe even four weapons for each character and uh, maxing them out. Even three for each character would cover all of them, although there's some weapons where, you know, a lot of the time the pool dart doesn't go first. It, it's good at some points, but, I mean, it kind of, it's like a weak version of the bow. Yeah, that's what you get for hitting the hero in the back over and over. Riot gas! Alright, I've been turned into a pygmy. The solution is to use that midge mallet. If we didn't have the midge mallet, that pretty much would have been... screwed city. Like, there's nothing you can really do. Sword reaches level 2, that's fantastic news. And since I stopped using the boy, things started going badly, so I'm going to switch back to him. Alright. Going to run back here. This is spring. We have to walk from spring to all the other seasons. So I'll kill these dudes, we'll end the video, and then we'll walk the through all the seasons, and then we'll be ready to rock. Alright, I will see you next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana.